Uh, guess what kind of sandwich I have? I don't f***ing care, Kaylee. Come on, guess what it is. <sighs> if it's another one of those bologna and mustard... It's a bologna and mustard sandwich! <laughs> oh god, that, that is really gross. That, don't show me that again or I'm gonna puke. Okay, guess what else I have? What? Another bologna and mustard... <laughs> Alright, so these days I'd argue I'm a pretty nice person. But that's because I got that all out of my system between the ages of birth and five years old. It might not sound so bad, but believe me, before grade school, I was... evil. When I was about three years old, my mom and dad had given me a bag of mini Oreos during a long car ride to, you know, keep me from screaming and vomiting. And at one point, my dad was like, Hey, Lissa, can I have an Oreo? Yes. Uh... Lissa? Yes? There's no cream in here. Where... where is it? <laughs> I ate it. Now, a question you and every parent on the planet might be asking is, why are kids like this? Between the ages of about two and three, children are focused on developing a greater sense of self-control. They pretty much realize, wait, you're not the boss of me. Which leads to things like this. There was a time back in preschool I remember I convinced my friend to help me move the slide from one end of the playground to the other. Why? Because I could! But we only moved it like a foot before my teacher said, Hey, quit moving the slide! And I said, No! I wanna move the slide! Quit moving the slide or I'm calling your mom! You're not gonna call my mom! Oh yes I will! Oh yeah! I triple dog dare you! She called my mom. But my parents didn't raise us using corporal punishment. If we got in trouble, we were sent to our room to calm down, then asked to apologize for, you know, drawing on the windowsill. What can I say? I'm an artist. My parents didn't think spanking was necessary. That is, until one day I was up to my evil shenanigans and getting mouthy at my mom. I'm gonna lick all the Oreos! You're not the boss of me! And she thought, you know what? Maybe I will try this spanking thing. And it tore me Apart. You're not my friend anymore! But the story doesn't end there. The next day, I had a checkup, and I'm not sure if they still do this anymore, but the doctor asked my mom to step out for a bit to ask me a few questions alone. Does your mom feed you healthy food? Yes. Do you play outside often? Yeah. Are your parents nice to you? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. Do they, do they hurt you? Oh, yeah they do. How often do your parents hurt you? Ugh, all the days. How do they hurt you? My mom beats me. Just kidding. My mom was really good friends with my doctor, so thankfully she was not arrested. I had no remorse, though. I was still mad about the spanking thing, and my idiot self still expected an apology. And I never got one. I don't know what changed, but eventually I grew up and matured, and I promise, I am no longer evil. Oreo? Hey guys, two things before you go. Number one, thank you so much to Audible for sponsoring this video. And number two, look what I found at the grocery store. Now, you could listen to the ASMR of me opening these up, licking out the cream, sticking them back together and putting them in the bag. Or, <laughs> or you can listen to something that's actually worth listening to. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I'm animating all day, I'm driving, at some point I need to shower. And I can't hold a book while doing that. I mean, I could, but I won't. Thankfully, Audible has the biggest selection of books on the planet. And you can listen to any Audible book on any device. So that way, someone else can read books for me to me. Story time. I get a lot of people asking me for advice on mental health issues, so I want to recommend a book that my therapist recommended to me. It's called Feeling Good by David D. Burns. And a, you know, a book isn't going to cure anxiety or depression or anything else you're dealing with, but it's always really good to like get in touch with your emotions, how you're feeling, and work towards feeling better. And if you don't like it, that's okay. Any book you choose, if you don't like it, you can exchange it for another, no questions asked. Additionally, Audible members receive credits every month to use towards books, and if you don't use them, that's okay, it'll roll over to the next one. Also, you can re-listen to your saved books at any time, even if you decide to cancel your membership. So, oh, I already ate this one. For a 30-day free trial of Audible, plus one free audiobook and two free Audible originals, go to audible.com slash illymation, link in the description, or text illymation to 500-500. Thank you, Audible. Whew. 
Thank you for making it all the way to the end card. Thank you for a million subscribers. Thank you to my buddy Adam something else YT for voicing in this video. Check him out if you're not already subscribed. Thank you to the Rising J for this awesome fan art. I think I'm gonna do featured fan art just because there's so much. <laughs> also, I have new merch available. I have this really awesome shirt and mug from Crowdmade. So check the link in the description to find that. This was kind of a shorter and lighter video. I like to switch it up every now and then, but don't worry, I'll get back to all the sad stuff real soon. <laughs> Stay tuned and thank you so much for everything.